Hello and welcome to this second Chess Secrets video. Uh, if you have not caught the first video, uh, be sure to subscribe and check out my Nick Butts Chess channel where you can enjoy that and other videos. All right, uh, this second Chess Secrets video continues from the first one covering uh, chess tactics and pattern recognition, uh, which is a secret that chess masters use to uh, play at a much higher level. They just learn more chess attacking and mating patterns and tactical patterns uh, than the average player. And the more of those that you can learn and remember, the better uh, you will play as well. So in this position, we have black to move. And uh, what do you think black should do here? Uh, how does black win this position? Uh, pause the video if you need to look at it, but this one is fairly simple, so hopefully you got it uh, pretty quickly. Uh, let's look here. So this is pretty simple. Rook to h4 here uh, with mate in one. And so this is an example of a mating pattern. And if you familiarize yourself with this pattern and just store it in your memory banks uh, for later use, you should be able to, uh, you know, possibly come up with similar mating patterns and uh, be able to use this one again in some of your games. So we see that the knight is covering the escape here to g1 and the rook just mates the king. Okay, so now I will show you another uh, example, but a little more in depth here. So, and you should be able to get this next one. So once again, black to move here. And playing off that mating pattern that you just learned, uh, now that you are able to recognize that pattern, how can you play here uh, as black to win this game? All right, uh, check this out. If you need more time, pause the video. If not, let's look at the answer here. So here black wins with a mate in two, and it just plays off that first pattern that we just saw. So your goal is to get the rook uh, here to deliver a mate, but now this pawn is in the way. So the move is rook to h5, sacrificing this rook, and white is forced to capture. And now this clears the way for the other rook to deliver mate here. So once again, this mating pattern is used to win the game. All right, so let's take a look at another position here that builds off of this pattern that we just learned. Okay, so what does black do in this position here? So here it is a little more complicated, uh, but if you use what you learned in that first and second position, uh, it should help with this one. So pause the video if you need to think about it. If not, let's look here. All right, so uh, this is a little more complicated. It's not an immediate mate, but we see that there is only one move that uh, puts black ahead in this position. And that is to give up the queen here uh, if the pawn captures. But we saw what happens if that pawn captures uh, in the previous two examples. So in the game, uh, the best response would be queen capturing uh, this pawn here, but black would still be ahead. Uh, and a beginner would probably immediately snatch up this queen uh, with h takes g4 here. But that would lead to our mating pattern once again with rook to h5, forcing a capture, and delivering the mate here. Okay, uh, we'll have one final position that builds off of that uh, mating pattern that we just looked at here. Okay, so here's the next example with black once again to move here. So 
now that you saw those other uh, examples that slowly build up, um, this one here, it should be easier to figure out. So once again, pause if you have to. If not, here we go. So knight to e2, the only move that, <coughs> excuse me, that puts black ahead here. So knight to e2 begins the opportunity for this uh, mating pattern theme once again. So the knight puts the king in check and cuts off this g1 square. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, if the queen would capture, the rook would capture. So the best move in the position is to move to h1 here. And then that would lead to what we saw previously. Queen captures is the best move. And once again, black has better moves. Um, but whatever, or excuse me, once again, white has better moves than capturing this queen. Uh, but he would still be behind and black would be winning. And a beginner would you know, most likely snatch up that queen leading to rook to h5, capture, and mate. So once again, that mating pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, these mating patterns, this is just one, uh, but there are many different mating patterns and uh, tactical patterns that you can set up on a board. You can learn them from uh, different games. If you play a chess game and you see an interesting pattern, make note of that. Maybe set it up on the board and try different positions that may use that pattern uh, just to kind of burn it into your memory uh, and help you be able to use it later in other games. All right, I will show you one uh, short example game here uh, with some patterns in it and hopefully seeing these patterns it will help you to recognize some of these patterns in your own games all right so here we have a chess game that begins with e4 e5 knight to f3 attacking the pawn knight to c6 defending the e5 pawn and bishop to b5 the Rui lopez opening so a common opening and black responds with the Berlin defense to the Rui Lopez, attacking this pawn in the center here. So white ignores that and castles his king to safety, and so black captures this pawn. Uh, but after this move, d4 would put white slightly ahead, but in the game, rook to e1 is played, which keeps the game uh, almost even, also, white is just barely ahead here, but the knight is under attack. And so after knight to d6, retreating but attacking this bishop, uh, in the game we have knight to c3 played, which is not uh, the best move in the position, but this is an example game. And here uh, the best move is to just capture this bishop here which is what happens in this example game. But now we have knight takes e5. And here, uh, it looks like bishop to e7 would be the best move to uh, protect the king and you know help get this king castle to safety. But in the game, we have knight takes e5 here. And after rook takes e5, uh, finally, the bishop is forced to block here, uh, but white is ahead now and black is getting into some trouble. So the best move would be for the king to just step aside here and protect this bishop with the queen. Uh, but it looks like in the game we have castling. Black is trying to get his king to safety, but now white is even more ahead. So now, <clears throat> and before I go further, let me step back a little bit here. Let's see here. All right. 
so after we have a, a position like this here here is a little tactical pattern to remember so after knight captures here now in the game the knight just recaptured but let's say a another move was played uh, such as i don't know even a capture here uh well we'll say a wasted move was played like this well then there is this little pattern knight capturing here attacking the queen and the rook attacks the king at the same time so a discovered check pattern here and then even uh, if queen to e7 is played of course the rook or the knight can capture if bishop blocks then uh, the knight can capture the queen so that's a little interesting tactical pattern there uh, to remember and you know maybe that would pop up in your games uh, that happens more often in the russian defense the petrov defense the russian game uh, so uh, moving on if we go back here the knight was captured to prevent that little uh, tricky tactical threat and after rook captures with check a block by the bishop the knight moves in here with the rook attacking this bishop black castles to safety but now we have knight captures the bishop on e7 uh, attacking the king here and we're starting to see this mating pattern once again forming with the knight cutting off this g8 square so the king has to move to h8 and now we have queen to h5 and the threat is here of a queen sacrifice forcing the king to capture and this rook to move to h5 with mate because the knight cuts off the escape squares so uh, let's say oh uh, i don't know a wasted move is played like an attack here well then we would see that mate like this so here is another example of a mating pattern to be aware of all right uh back to the game uh after queen to h5 we have g6 attacking the queen here and preventing the capture here um because now after the queen or excuse me the king would capture the queen the rook trying to move here the king could either escape or just uh, capture the rook so the queen moves to h6 here and now we have d6 attacking the rook but it is too late so if we go back it looks like rook to g8 would have been the best move but then um the knight would have been able to capture that rook and white would be ahead so d6 was played in the game and now we have rook to h5 threatening a maiden one on h7 but after g takes h5 we have queen to f6 another interesting little mating pattern here where the knight cuts off the g8 square uh, but the queen is delivering mate and also uh, attacking this g7 as well as the h8 square where the king is mated so these were just a few examples of some chess tactics and mating patterns and just some patterns to store in your uh, memory banks and hopefully be able to use some of these patterns in your own games uh, but there are many chess tactical patterns uh, that you can learn to recognize and the best way to do that is just play through games uh, play regularly keep a note of interesting tactical patterns that you see and uh, play little you know study tactics and go over tactical problems and puzzles 
And if you do that every day, your pattern recognition will improve. All right, well, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, leave comments or suggestions on what you think. And uh, feel free to check out my Nick Butts Chess channel where you can see the first of these Chess Secrets videos and check out and enjoy other videos as well. All right, thank you everyone and have a great day.